I don't do unboxing videos at all, but I just got a box in the mail. So I guess this is an unboxing video. And I also got mail from somebody and I got some new products to go over. So new ish products to go over. Um, I don't know how I do this, but psh, let's get into it. Frame YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Demo here back with another video. And I don't even know where to start, but I guess I'm just gonna open some stuff for you guys. All right, so for starters, I picked up some new Speak QB stuff. Not all of it, I got some of the new colored pouches right here. So we got pistol pouches, blue ones, orange ones, red ones somewhere, single AR mag pouches, the triple stack pouch. To go along with those, well, I read up, cause someone stole my mag at Speak QB, so I got a new orange mag. Um, and then, what everyone's been waiting for, this is the brand new Speed TV NCR Nucleus Chest Rig. Um, I'm gonna open this later, go over everything with you guys. I might even make a separate video on this, bro. I don't know. I'm just opening stuff, letting you guys know some of the new products I got. But yeah, Nucleus Chest Rig, I gotta figure this thing out. I gotta figure out the different ways to mount it, use it, configurations and all that, because there's so much you can do with this little thing. Um, so I'll have a separate video on this. I got this box right here, which is something I've been waiting on, um, which I actually need. Uh, I'll go over what this is. But before I even get into that, I got a special gift from a special somebody. Shout out to my boy, Call Sign Sinister. Justin, good looking, bro. I mean, he sent me his patch before and I've unboxed it, but I already know what this is. I'm about to crack this open for you guys. And shout out to my boy, Sinister. Good looking on this, bro. Let me like clean up a little bit. Uh, so this can move over here. I'll unbox that last. Um, these are somewhat special, but there'll be a whole separate video on this, so I'll just move this out of frame. <laughs> and let's get to this. So, shout out to my boy Sinister Man. He has been dropping some merch as well. So I know exactly what this is. He sent me this. And I didn't tell him. Well, I mean, I don't know if he expected me to do this, but I actually told him that I was going to show him a little love. So, woo! Okay, bro, I see you. All right, Justin, hold up, let me see. It's a long sleeve or short sleeve? I think he said it's a long sleeve. If you guys aren't subscribed, go subscribe to Call Sign Sinister's YouTube channel. Link for it will be in the description below. Bro, I see you. Peep this, yo. And it's a long sleeve. Justin, good looking, fam. Yeah. Yo, shout out to my boy Sinister, man. Justin, I'm gonna send something your way, bro. Um, I think you copped the hoodie, but I'm gonna send some special stuff your way. Good looks, bro, thank you. Next up, some of the SpeakyB stuff. So if you guys don't know, there's a SpeakyB PTS collaboration, ETM mags. They come in orange, blue, and red. I re I picked up an orange one, I have them all, but I picked up an orange one just because somebody stole mine at SpeakyB, so. New mag, dope packaging. You can hold like 150 rounds. But yeah, orange PTS mag. And then Proton pouches. Everyone's been asking me, yo, you guys gonna restock on Proton pouches. What's good with the triple stacks? What's good with the pistol pouches, the single AR pouches? Go on speakyb.com. There are single pistol pouches, single AR mag pouches, two blue ones, and triple AR pouches, triple stack pouches. All of them uh, are up on the speakyb website, along with this bad boy. This is the speakyb NCR nucleus chest Let me just crack this up a little bit. So, ooh, okay. All right, cool. So the way this chest rig works, it's similar to the belt. You got the quick strip right here. It does come off, so you got all Velcro right there. And then you got the different little strip right here. Snap that on. I need to adjust this, but the overall profile, it's one of the smallest chest rigs, I mean, that I know of. You get five rows of Molly. The triple stack fits perfectly, fits, what is this? five pistol mag pouches on there if you really wanted to i'll probably just run three um you could probably do two single ar pouches one on each side and then stack one in the middle i think that'd be pretty dope two single ar pouches and then one in the middle for like a speed uh, one pistol in the middle for like a speed loader so you guys got the breathable air mesh in the back that's also padded you get this dope pocket up top zipper storage right there um, it's super modular, uh, so I've got hands on like the prototype one, and you could rock it so many ways, bro. I've seen, I've seen, you know, they rock it as like a fanny pack. I know people rocking bags, rock it as a shoulder bag. 
you can honestly convert this if you really wanted to to drop down as like a, a leg rig maybe we can mod something up that like links into the belt or something you do leg rigs uh overall profile is pretty small bro like i don't know i'll do a separate video on this but i think this thing actually came out pretty dope a lot of people were kind of just like ah i don't know blah 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 i'll be sure to do a video covering everything on this uh but yeah speed qb ncr nucleus chest rig catching on speedqb.com who the hell is this pulling up to my house all right now let's get into what is in this box i was not expecting this to come at the time that it did but i'm glad it did because i was just about to film um before i unbox this i'll let you guys know what's in here it's a pistol case uh that i got off amazon but real quick, for you guys that know me, you know this is my current pistol case. This is a Pelican 1450. I think I paid like 120 bucks for this thing, just because it's Pelican. You can find some cheap uh, alternatives. A lot of other places, Harbor Freight, um, Amazon, you know, it depends if you're trying to shop in person or whatnot. But just to show you guys, the cool thing about these Pelicans, it comes with pluck and pick foam, so it's all, one piece of foam, you can pick it out however you want. Currently, I have it set up like this, which is nice, but my only gripe with this is that the foam don't last. It's hella thin. It breaks down pretty quickly. Like, I could probably pull out this block. Look at this, look at this. Y'all see this? It's garbage. So, I don't know. It's cool at first. There are hacks out there where you can spray Plasti Dip and it kind of hardens the foam or even buy new foam kits, but like, I shouldn't have to do that, you know what I mean? So, and I, I have three pistols in here. There's three pistols with two, four, six, eight, nine, nine standard high cap mags. I don't know why I'm missing one. So there's 10, there should be 10. And then two extended mags plus a tool kit. Like it's a lot for this size case. So, I mean, it works, I make it work, but at the same time, it's kind of like, Bro, I'm really about the GTO pickle chin that boy. So I hop on Amazon, did my research. A couple of my homies have this case. Uh, shout out to Oscar, shout out to DJ. Um, I think those are the main two people that I know that recommended this case to me, and plus some other people. But this case is, I think it's from Case Club, I wanna say. I don't do unboxings, yo, so I'm like using my keys to open shit. Yes, sir. Damn. Damn. Cool. All right, let's open it. All right. Not bad. It's hella deep. Uh, let me do that. So, yeah. This is a pistol case, hard shell pistol case that I got from Case Club. You guys can see right there. Just hop on Amazon. Type in, I typed in Case Club for pistol case. For pistol case. For pistol case. Um, let me open this. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. This is dope. All right, cool. 40 gram silica gel. Got some case clip cards in here. And off rip, you can just see, bro. Look at the foam. Like, it's just so much, so much better. It's that hard foam. And it is plug and pick too. So I'll actually do this on camera. Let me show y'all real quick. So you can see it has removable foam piece right here. So that comes out, go even deeper with it. If I could pull this shit out too. I'm low key struggling with this thing, bro. There it is, got him out, cool. So this is my 5.1 right here, high cap book. I could dead ass just like let it sit like that. It'll hold it. And they're pretty good. But also, this is with a flared magwell. It's kind of a large magwell, but enough force. It'll kind of a tight fit, but the magwell fits in there. If I push downwards, there you go. You guys can see it holds my pistol. Pretty damn secure, bro. This is actually pretty dope. That's with the flared magwell. If you don't have a magwell, it'll work. I know this works for all kinds of pistols. Um, but yeah, it's my new pistol case. I'm actually about to get it all set up and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, so it took me a little time, but after getting everything kind of plucked and uh, situated, here's my current setup. Two pistols right here, sitting like this. I've got six mags. One of these is not mine, but someone also stole one of my mags, so I'm gonna have six mags here regardless. These are all green gas mags. Uh, I have two extended mags, this is insane. I have one HPA tap and one green gas 
chilling right here until I get my fourth pistol right here. That's right, I'm gonna be starting a new build. Uh, I've got my UAC pistol chilling right here. And then right here, I've got three HPA tap mags. Someone has my fourth one, but I don't really run HPA, but I guess when I get that fourth one, that'll go right here. And I got a flashlight and my speed loader. This is currently what I have here. And the dopest part about it is that it closes with no problem. And they got locks right here. You can lock it up. And there it is. Case club. This is a dope case right here, man. I'll shoot the link to the product in my description. Also comes with this like 40 millimeter silica packet and there's a insert on the inside where you can actually put that. This is dope. Unlock it, open it up, boom. This slot right here is removable to fit this inside it. Keep everything fresh, especially when I'm traveling. So new case, can't wait to sticker slap it. And uh, yeah. All right, before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to everybody over at Lancer Tactical. Mike, Fabricio, AJ, shout out to you guys, man. Putting in work over there. Go follow the Lancer page. Go follow the Megastore page. Go follow them, man. Follow SOS. Follow all the homies. But I got hooked up with one of their new Proline Series guns. But mine's kind of special. I got a Proline Series gearbox in a G2 body. So their G2 is like their polymer, lightweight, you know, a little more affordable. Um, series and then their pro lines are all full metal with the new trigger system and everything i got kind of the best of both worlds so it's literally the gen 2 polymer body with a pro line gearbox in it with their new trigger i decked it out a little bit and this is a completely stock gun so i guess i'll be bringing you guys some gameplay with a stock lancer and letting you know if you really need to upgrade i mean sometimes you really don't need all the bells and whistles and all the crazy internals just to play airsoft and have fun playing airsoft the way i have it set up right now this is my gng gt1 i have a bravo peck unit a bravo light right here with the dual switch that plugs into both of them so i can hit the flashlight and the green laser and i got this cool little quick detach suppressor that is foam filled so keeps my gun quiet um, if you guys watched my new high speed aeg build video then you'll know you'll recognize some of these externals what I'm probably gonna do is that since this rail is plastic, swap it out with my Daniel Defense rail. And I don't know, I'll bring out some gameplay, see if this stock gun can hold up to the competition. But yeah, I guess that's my unboxing video. I wasn't expecting to do any of this. I don't, I don't, like I told y'all, dude, I don't do review videos and unboxing videos or the traditional airsoft stuff. So uh, don't expect me to start doing it like on a regular basis, it's every now and then. But yeah. All right, so that wraps up the video. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This, again, was completely random. Y'all know I don't do these review videos or unboxing videos or the, the traditional airsoft videos, so it feels weird to do them. Like, I don't have a method to this. It's just, it's just madness. There's no method in my madness. It's just straight madness. But you guys saw it. I got a brand new Lancer that I'm gonna field for you guys. I got my pistol case right here that I'm gonna add another pistol to. I'm probably gonna build a 4.3, add it on. Uh, new speed QB drip. You already know, chest trigger review coming soon. Uh, I think that's it. I think that wraps it up, man. Let's go. Um, I'm losing daylight, man. My camera finna die, and I'm hungry, so let's just let's, let's go this way. Yo, I just got this chest rig fitted right now, and it is clean. Like, it's so small. And you can take a quick strip off, slap your patches on there. This is hard, bro. Or just boom, a new loadout. I rock with it so far. I forgot to add also, a lot of people were asking me about the green BBs that we have at Extreme Tronics. These things right here, the 25 gram and 20 gram BBs. They're like this teal color. Uh, 12 bucks for like, what, 4,000? 4,000 two fives and then 5,000 20 grams. So it's like 12 bucks. I'll bring gameplay with these BBs too.